and welcome to this overview of Elijah. This library is special to us, and we hope it will also be special to everyone using it. It features 142 different hybrid and processed instruments from various sources and synthesizers. The special catch is that we built every single instrument patch like we would treat an acoustic instrument. So every instrument has real handcrafted velocity layers, individual round robins, and responds to your performance the way an acoustic sample library would. But it is more than just a collection of instruments. Elijah's engine puts evolving soundscapes, rhythmical pulses, and even entire playable arrangements directly at your fingertips. This engine is extremely powerful, combining many different instruments and effects with up to five different arpeggiators and envelopes. To get you started right away, we created a vast amount of themes showing the endless possibilities of this engine. You can access them via the theme browser. They are split into three categories. Spheres contains playable pads and hits built from multiple instruments. Pulses contains unique rhythms using the arpeggiators. And finally, the animated category features full playable arrangements built in the engine. On all of these, we highly recommend using the mod wheel to get the most expressive results. There will be a whole video playthrough of the themes where you can listen to the full range of the sonic worlds of Elijah. But in this video, we will focus on how these themes are built and how you can modify them to fit your needs. So let's get back to the main page and dive in. Just like in the orchestra, you can load up to five different instruments into the slots on the top. There are three different categories of instruments. The sustain tab features pad sounds whose dynamics are controlled by mod wheel, like your usual orchestral sustain patch. Hit instruments are short and react to the key velocity of your playing. The third one is ambience effects. These are a little unusual and feature atonal, percussive, or atmospheric sounds. They can be used for all sorts of things in the engine. All instruments are also sorted by sound character into the two subcategories, soft and hard. We just heard some of the soft instruments. The hard ones are a little more aggressive and biting. Once we've selected our instruments, we can assign them to an arpeggiator or an envelope, depending on the type of patch. Short instruments can only be sent to an arpeggiator, while sustain and ambience instruments can be sent to either one. In Elysian, every slot has its own independent arp and envelope modules. On the main page, you can get an overview of the rhythms and shapes assigned to each slot. To edit a particular module, you can just click on the visualization. You can also skip through the modules using the numbers of the slots or the arrows on the side. On each arpeggiator, you will find a lot of different controls to adjust the pattern to your liking. Many of these are similar to the arps from the orchestra. You have your rhythm stepper to draw your desired pattern, and controls like number of steps, time signature, and resolution. Also, there are controls for note order, pattern reset, note selection, transposition, and much more. Some of these controls you will find again on the envelopes. Here you can draw in a curve that will alter the dynamic shape of the sound over time in the same way as if you were moving your mod wheel.
there's an envelope option for broad swells and a stutter option for more rhythmic dynamic shapes. The interesting thing with the arps and envelopes is that you can put two different shapes or patterns, A and B. When your mod wheel is down, you'll hear pattern A, and if you move it up, it'll slowly morph into pattern B. This way you can create fascinating rhythmical transformations by just moving the mod wheel. With a different module for each slot, there's essentially no limit to your creativity here. Speaking of creativity, Elysian comes with a wide range of options to adjust the separate sounds. It's possible to adjust attack and release, apply an EQ, add one of multiple modulation effects, or dial in saturation and filters. You can do this independently for every single slot. What really elevates these effects, though, is the motion feature. You may have noticed the motion button below some effect controls. If you activate it, this knob will immediately be linked to your mod wheel. On the left and right of the button, you can adjust the minimum and maximum of the motion range, and the mod wheel will scale between those values. By clicking the little reverse button next to it, you can switch the minimum and maximum value and get the opposite effect on the mod wheel. By using this on multiple effects, the sound can be completely transformed by moving the mod wheel. Combining the morphing and motion features can create an incredible range with just a single patch. If you don't want to control everything via mod wheel, you can select different controllers for motion and dynamic morphing on the settings page. When all is said and done, you can adjust the balance, panning, and ambience of the instruments on the mix page. You can dial in reverb and delay sends for each slot, and even route them to different outputs in contact. For the reverb, you can choose between impulse responses and three different reverb algorithms. Also, you can choose between a variety of different delay types. On the pan page, you can set up a tempo synced panning stepper, which allows you to move one or multiple instruments in the stereo field rhythmically. You can set up two different patterns and assign every slot one of them using the little numbers at the bottom of the stepper. If the pan engine is activated for a certain slot, it will say so when you try to move the pan knob on the mix page. That's all you need to know to create and adjust sounds and patterns in the instrument. Elysian is the definitive tool for creating futuristic pulses and soundscapes. Over 230 themes are ready to go and fully customizable. All generated patterns can be exported using our MIDI export feature, explained in depth in our tutorial for the orchestra complete. We hope this tutorial helped you to understand the possibilities of this instrument and inspired you to create your own sonic worlds with Elysian. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.